Hey, what's up? I'm Musa here for Video Portal, and welcome into this exciting tutorial on how do you can make a bouncy text inside of After Effects. And let me show you what it looks like. Now it's really cool, and uh, and actually it is a kinetic typography technique. If you're doing that project, you can also use that, and I hope it will be really helpful. Now we can do it this effect in a couple of ways. We can do it manually by just keyframing uh, as some values, <clears throat> or we can use the gray machine preset. These are called super awesome presets. And if you click uh, do search over the internet, you will definitely file find this link. And I have also given this link in the description. You can click on this download button, and it's, these are absolutely free. And you can paste paste these into your After Effects support files presets folder and in the animation presets you can get that there so <clears throat> let's just start I'm gonna show you some cool techniques and to make it really look dynamic so let's get started first of all grab a new composition 1280 by 720 20, uh, 24 frames per second and 10 seconds long name it like we're gonna make some text layers text now bounce like video um, portal and tutorials okay now we, by using the title action save I'm gonna send this out just really quick and this one is right center it out scale it up maybe squish it a bit like this and we can use the rulers I ha already have arranged these by the way control R to bring up these rulers and we can use these guides to guide us right so now our text can snap to these uh, guides easily and we can uh, adjust these according to our guides and bring this in scale it up just about here and look proper like there so it's looking fine okay now I'm gonna turn the 3d switch on for all these layers and then I'm gonna select my video layer and let's adjust its anchor point right um, right about maybe I can zoom in a bit select this anchor point and move it on this left side center left side so that it rotates from this point right <clears throat> so now I will now I will move 10 frames forward in time I will press shift page down to move exactly 10 frames forward in the, in the timeline and then I can go back and find uh, like point where it's totally perpendicular to ourself maybe right here let me read of these guides okay so now it moves from here to this point now with the Y rotation selected and the last three frame and the Y rotation is selected I'm gonna go to my effects and presets and I'm gonna search for gray and search for gray machine inertial bounds and with the Y rotation selected double click on the inertial bounds now it has been applied to the Y rotation, so let's take a look how it looks like. So it's looking pretty cool, and let me go to the expressions to show you what it, it, it has actually done. So here we have kind of some variables, some math going on, and an if statement, and it actually calculates the velocity of the last keyframe. So, I can also show you this um, rotation graph. So, uh, it has actually created a sine graph. It calculates the velocity of the last keyframe value. And what's good about this uh, expression is that it has variables like amplitude, frequency, and decay. You can adjust these out. Now, frequency is kind of 
uh, the number of beats per second you can see it, it moves forward back back and forth back and forth two times and if I adjust like maybe four and now let's check it out how it looks like now it moves too much four times and which is not good maybe two is okay and the decay actually is the speed of our animation we can set it to like five it will slow it down quite a lot you see that uh, which is not I think the greatest thing and amplitude maybe the thing you're looking for it's actually the height of the sine wave let's check it out for four and it will go away from the screen like whoa somewhat like this but I'm gonna set it back to 0.1 right so I'm gonna turn the motion blur on for all these and for the comp and let's check it out how it looks like now so it looks fine and let me do uh, this same effect with the, the other text layers now the key uh, anchor point is already in the place where I want again simply go to the R select the Y rotation and maybe maybe move forward just a bit to start maybe like there shift page down to move 10 keyframes forward um, actually I'm gonna move this keyframe there and shift page up to move 10 frames backward and let me move that totally perpendicular to ourself like maybe 94 or 96 now okay so with the wire rotation selected I'm gonna double click on the inertial bounds it's already uh, now it has been applied to that as well right so let's take a look and also you, you need to trim this layer to start it from right there so that before it, it doesn't uh, it's away from there and let me show you an experiment that I did with the uh, scale property. Go to S scale and move. Go 10 frames forward, shift page down, select the scale and move back 10 frames. And I'm gonna scale it down like, oh yeah. First, uh, you need to put that anchor point in the center, and then you need to scale it down like this. Maybe not that small, but this and with the scale selected I'm gonna select the gray machine initial bounce inertial bounce sorry and let's do a quick ramp preview and maybe it's too much slow we can move this keyframe up in a bit so that it's uh, up fast maybe right there and motion blur is on so it looks like this and similarly I have done the same thing with this text as well you can um, scale it down a more maybe it's up to you maybe pu push that keyframe in a bit to make that a lot faster so this was a tutorial I hope you enjoyed that and it was my first tutorial on After Effects uh, and stay tuned for more be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time